Microworms, Walter worms, and banana worms can all be raised in exactly the same way, and here's how I do it. I get some cooked and cooled oatmeal. I add some nutritional yeast for protein and B vitamins, although that is optional. A couple of other optional ingredients that you can add include ground flaxseed, which can be found at a health food store and adds omega-3 fatty acids, and paprika, which is a natural color enhancer. Then you need a starter culture, which you can get online or from a fellow hobbyist. And then uh, take several spoonfuls of the culture. You notice at the top left area of this spoon you can see the worms shimmering, which is a sign that there are a lot of worms in there. Uh, those are the worms moving around in the, the fluid medium. Add them to your oatmeal mixture. Uh, it's best if you kind of spread the starter culture over the surface of the oatmeal, as you see here. That uh, helps the worms to colonize quickly and effectively. And once you've added a couple of spoonfuls of the starter culture, uh, you just need to wait. So get a uh, cover. It needs to be ventilated with small holes to permit the uh, worms to breathe but to not allow pests in. And once you've put that on securely, you just wait. Uh, depending on the temperature and so on, uh, between 24 hours and several days afterwards, you'll see worms crawling up the sides, as you see here. Using a cotton swab, you can remove a lot of pure worms right off the side and then simply swish into the aquarium to feed your fish. Now, fish of varying ages, sizes, and species will eat these types of worms. Uh, anything from quite small fry, because the microworms, banana worms, and walter worms are all smaller in cross-section than a baby brine shrimp. So a fish that's not quite big enough to take a baby brine shrimp may be able to take a microworm. And uh, it ranges in size to fish up to maybe two inches or so that will take them. Quite a few different species will eagerly take them. Here you can see a few very small rainbow fish fry that are about a week and a half old that are taking them. And in this shot you can see some adult and juvenile celestial pearl daniels gobbling them down. So they make a great addition to your foods.